Straddler, where are you? Get back in your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. So a few days ago when I was in Modesto, as part of the Boondockers Welcome website, I found Mike and Nanette and was parked in their driveway. That allowed me to unhitch and go exploring for a couple of days, so I did. Um, first day, I found Hornitos um, that afternoon, which was a little ghost town up in the hills east of the Modesto area. The next day I went exploring and one of the things on my map was the Byron Hot Springs Hotel, which is an abandoned hotel in Byron Hot Springs. The hotel itself, the building is still there, it's about four stories high, quite a big massive hotel structure, but um, the property around there is all gated off, uh, fenced, and uh, I think even saw some razor wire, a bunch of uh, signs saying no trespassing, so I didn't want to risk getting arrested. Um, took a few pictures from the road and moved on. Um, the next thing after that was something called Drawbridge, which I didn't really find, but I did find a bird sanctuary, which was kind of what I needed at the time, because it was just nice and quiet, the wind was blowing, it was cool, um, it was a nice little stop. So it's pretty windy out here, I'm not sure if uh, this little mic will suffice, but <clears throat> Sometimes the day doesn't give you what you think you need. It just gives you what you need. I think today's one of those days. I was out driving around, uh, punching a couple things in uh, the GPS that uh, points of interest that I had bookmarked. They kind of came up, but guess the uh, Byron Hot Springs Hotel is pretty closed up. I didn't want to risk being arrested trying to get in there. Um, just got feeling. And uh, then I came up here. There's apparently a drawbridge up here somewhere. Um, I just dropped it on the map. I didn't put any details in it, so I don't even know what I'm looking for. And to be honest, right now, I'm not even sure exactly where I am. Uh, I just followed the GPS and kind of like, you know, you know, enjoyed the traffic and yeah. Basically, it just kind of meandered. So anyway, I ended up here. This is the Don Edwards Wildlife Refuge. Um, apparently, it's San Francisco Bay. I didn't think I was that far west, but I'm obviously close to something because there's water all around. Um, like I said, just been meandering, so <laughs> the hell knows where I ended up. Um, I'll have to check this out on the map to see exactly kind of how I got here. But like I was saying earlier, sometimes the day just gives you what you need and a walk along this dike uh, close to sunset, birds all around, it's all good. It's helping me chillax a little bit because I've been stressing out that I haven't been shooting as much and just kind of been driving aimlessly trying to get away from the rain and that kind of thing. And even though I'm still a little anxious about, you know, shooting more, uh, I gotta just relax so yeah this turned out to be a pretty good day regardless after that I found myself in San Jose close to the convention center and found a muffler man so that was the first muffler man um, and that's gonna be in an episode of big stuff coming up shortly probably right after this So here's a quick big stuff stop and this is potentially the first of many muffler men because I have a whole schwack of them bookmarked. This is Babe the Muffler Man in San Jose, California, close to the convention center. So yeah, the first big tall muffler man. Um, I will get some history on these guys a little later on, but for now, here's the first one. Bye. After that, I made the hellish drive from San Jose to Modesto on a Friday night with California traffic. So that was lots of fun. 
Uh, that evening, Mike gave me some pointers on a couple of places that I might want to check out. So the day after that, I actually drove up to a little town called LaGrange. Um, I don't believe it's the one ZZ Top sang about because there wasn't a lot of nice girls there. Musicians that I know will get that. Other than that, um, it was a cool little town. Um, it actually reminded me of a town in Alberta called Wayne, Alberta. Um, there's a hotel there called the Last Chance Saloon. And actually it's the Rose Hotel and there's a saloon in there called the Last Chance Saloon. And all the bikers go there uh, during the summer on the weekends because it's a nice little ride out there. Uh, there's what, 11 or 16 bridges on the way. And uh, it's kind of a neat little drive. Um, so this one in LaGrange, uh, basically same thing, hotel with the saloon in the bottom and there's a whole bunch of bikes lined up out to the front. And from there I went to a town called Jamestown. So Jamestown's a pretty nice town. It's older, it's on the edge of the Yosemite National Park and it's been well kept and kind of restored. So the town itself is a little trendy now. The buildings have been turned into art galleries and nicer restaurants and that kind of thing. And you know, it's a, it's a quaint little town and it's kind of neat to stop at, but not really my thing as far as photography goes. That said, up behind there is a state park called Railtown 1897. Now what Railtown 1897 is, is a train stop that has a roundhouse, um, they have steam engines, they have a bunch of old rail cars, and a, a train station, and it's quite a cool place. <laughs> um, if you're a train buff, you definitely want to go there. Um, if you're not a train buff, but you're a photography buff, you might want to go there. If you like old junk like me, you definitely want to go there. They have an operational steam engine that tows passenger cars, and they go on a little trip. I didn't take that. I think the last one had gone by the time I got there. Um, but I wandered through the yard and there's like um, many train cars and wheels and parts and uh, maintenance shacks and all that kind of stuff. And some of the cars are in various states of disrepair. So that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's a fun little place to wander and just take pictures if you, know, you like any kind of rust. Jamestown was 
used in many, 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 many movies and TV series. Um, one notable one is Little House on the Prairie. So if you grew up in the same time I did and you watched Little House on the Prairie, when they went into town, that's probably Jamestown. Um, I can't remember some of the movies. There was like, you know, like the old westerns and stuff. A lot of that stuff was shot up there. And if there was any kind of train stuff, some of it might have been shot in rail town. Again, use the Google. I'm sure the list you'll find is quite extensive. And yeah, do your own research. So after that, I went up to a town called Sonora. Now Sonora is much like Jamestown, where it's an older town, but it's been fixed up. Um, but the difference was, is Sonora was crazy busy. They had, I think, a festival going on called the Motherload Festival. And there was a lot of families there with kids dressed up for Halloween. So I think there was like Halloween events going on and the place was just packed. So yeah, I basically drove up and down Main Street a couple times. I kind of checked it out and then moved on because there wasn't much going to happen photo-wise and you know it was just one of those places that uh, was a little too busy for me. After that though I went back, I started heading back towards Modesto and made a little turn into a town called Chinese Camp. Um, obviously this was from the Gold Rush days and there's not much left of it. Um, that's actually operational. There's like a store and a gas station, I think. Um, there are residents there, and there is also a lot of old derelict buildings there. Um, most of them are, you know, no trespassing, private property, that kind of thing. But that doesn't mean you can't take shots of them from the road, which is what I did. So I kind of wandered around there and just looked around and, you know, found some old stuff to shoot um, as the sun was starting to get low in the sky. And from there, I made my way back to Modesto. So the next day I woke up and it was time to move on. So I hitched up the trailer and was driving for a couple of days. I did a couple of Walmart uh, overnight stops. And then from there, made my way into Bakersfield where I've met with Dennis and Mary Kay who are also members of the Boondockers Welcome website. And they are awesome. Totally, totally awesome. I got a nice little spot to park, which is why I'm out exploring today. And yeah, they're amazing. They've been really welcoming. Um, they invited me for dinner last night when I got there. It was really nice. like working with a monkey.